Uh, what I want to try and cover today is where we're at, where we're going, what services the hospital have, and just make sure that we have accurate information for you guys as a whole. Um, I think the opening of Lakeway Regional Medical Center marks the first major employer that's going to be based in Lakeway. Uh, we're very excited about that. We've seen some economic impact studies uh, with varying degrees of accuracy. But we'll talk a little bit about that as I move through the presentation. Uh, we feel that our primary service hall area holds about 100,000 people. We go up to 222, um, south of Dripping Springs. We go east over towards our primary service area towards 360. And then west is kind of a jagged line that goes out past uh, Spice Wood out that way. So, and that was put together for us what we can anticipate being our primary service area by a large professional group out of New York. I'm not a big fan of Yankees, however, uh, they're very good at what they do and that's why they agree to do this for us. The hospital services will include emergency and urgent care services. We'll have an 18-bed emergency department, 24-7, three trauma bays. Uh, we'll directly connect to an eight-bed urgent care center as well. We'll have board certified physicians in there to take care of the community. Imaging will have a full suite of diagnostic services as well as interventional radiology will have all the regular things. Plus, uh, maybe upgraded a bit because it will all be state-of-the-art, brand new equipment, CT, MRI, uh, women's services, ultrasound. I don't want to spend a lot of time just listing off services. That's not the exciting part. Um, surgical services will have six operating rooms. We will have two C-section suites where I think there's like some females in here who may be of childbearing age, so that's exciting to all of us. Um, as, my wife tells me that that's when the fun really begins, because after you have kids, then other things go wrong, and then you really need to go see the doctor. And I won't tell you how old my wife is, because we'll get in trouble. Uh, well, you guys won't, but I will. But the hospital will have a full range of inpatient, outpatient surgery, including orthopedic, sports surgery, GYN, urological open heart, vascular, uh, gastrointestinal, general surgery. Uh, again, board certified physicians. We'll have a complete range of women's services as well. Uh, neonatal critical care services. We'll have a level two neonate uh, ICU. It's referred to as the NICU. Dell would be a level three B. They'll take care. Dell Children's will take care of the really, really sick little kids. The reason we went with level two is it'll give us the ability to keep some of those sicker kids closer to home. Uh, I've had friends who've had kids in uh, neonatal ICUs, and they've always had to drive quite a distance to go see the kids every day, especially that special experience in your life being a brand new uh, child and the, the, the trauma that it brings if your child's not perfect when they're first born. Uh, we'd like to think that being closer to home helps minimize that. Cardiology services, we will comprehensive inpatient, outpatient, all facets of interventional cardiology as well as diagnostic. Uh, intensive care, we'll have an 18-bed intensive care unit. We'll have 15 beds, pediatric unit. Who has kids here? All right, so that's good news. Uh, we'll also have a five-bed, or I'm sorry, a four-bed pediatric ICU. Uh, general acute care services, as you would expect. Governance structure, the hospital will be governed by a board of directors seven members, including physicians, some folks that have investment, community members. We also have a community advisory board, as well as a physician advisory board. Uh, we currently have about 300 people working on the site daily. Our construction is on schedule. The hospital's financial position is very solid. We have a very healthy balance sheet. We have about 275,000 square feet upon opening. Our opening date is spring of 2012. We uh, plan to have the building watertight <coughs> in the next 30 to 45 days, and that will help us tighten up our opening <coughs> schedule because it lowers our risk of uh, any weather-related events putting us behind schedule. Uh, we'll be eight stories up, two stories down. Uh, we'll have about 350 employees when we open, and we'll go rapidly from there. Our hiring timeline is taken from a detailed plan that we use based on past experience. The physicians will participate in the operation of the hospital and how that works, which we think is different from how other hospitals work, it is on a monthly basis. We'll have 
monthly operating reviews on a departmental level. We'll invite physicians to come to those monthly operating reviews so they can have a true say in how the hospital operates. Come on in. I don't want you to be stranded up here. You need to come down the red carpet. That's right. <laughs> And if you've driven by, you may have noticed um, that there's a, another large structure going up. That's a parking garage. That'll be eight stories. It'll have about 575 parking spaces. Uh, and as you see the development of the hospital, development of the parking garage, it's important for everyone to understand that the hospital controls the development of the hospital, the parking garage area, and the MOB we're going to build immediately in front. We do not control the rest of the development. The other 40 acres are controlled by Aqualand. So if you have questions about are there going to be hotels there or restaurants, I would refer you to the developer. Uh, we'll have all private rooms. We'll have a complete electronic medical record. Our website's under construction. Who's gone to our website, Sam? I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. Uh, it's being redone. We should be able to publish in the next three weeks or so. And then it'll be up to snuff so people can actually get information about the hospital. Uh, we, yeah, that's a very good. Uh, traffic. Has anyone... Heard anything about traffic? <laughs> I went to the Lakeway Men's Club and they didn't care about anything but traffic. <laughs> uh, we think that the, for the majority of the folks that work in the hospital, the starting times would be kind of off peak traffic times. The nurses generally start at like 7 in the morning. So hopefully, as Lake Travis schools, that's really the issue. It should be a little later. Uh, and hopefully, we can stagger that in the afternoon as well so we don't have we can lessen whatever impact there is. There's going to be an impact, without a doubt, as folks go in there. Uh, we have a chief financial officer. He's going to start August 1st. Our CNO search is underway. Uh, we're in the process of finalizing equipment needs and choices with physicians. But again, the important thing is that we are here to serve the community. It's not a tiny little private hospital. It's a real community hospital. As you drive by, you see the structure. The emergency room is built large so we can serve the community, and we are here to serve the community. Not Lakeway, but all Lake Travis and the surrounding community. So as you guys talk to prospective home buyers, I think an important part for them, an important part for me, because both my kids have been sick and needed inpatient emergent services, is that there is a full-scale hospital here, very, very close, to take care of everything from premature babies all the way to our you know, grandparents who need that regular care as well. Questions? Sir? I'm directly across the street. Uh, my name is Judd Olson. Sorry about the dust. It's okay. I'm, I'm actually I'm developing a 24,000 square foot spec MOB across the street. From Very good. My question is, I haven't I haven't talked to Kendall Finney, Hale Mills. They're, they're building the MOB component for them. My understanding is they own that part. What What is your status on that, and what kind of a of an impact is it going to have for you to open the hospital before you have an MOB component? Right. Well, you'd always like to have the medical office building open prior to the hospital. You're not going to. But we are not going to. Right. Exactly right. I'm aware of that. Thanks for the tip. My mind's for sale. Three three point four million dollars will buy my mind. So. Right. Thanks for the offer. I appreciate that. Uh, we six percent commission. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we we would like to have it open earlier. Okay. However, um, leasing lagged a little bit. We were surprised that it wasn't as robust as it was. Yeah. So uh, we've kind of rethought it, and uh, we're going to take another take at it. I think in probably 30 days I'll be able to tell you more about what we're going to do.